the Philippines. Next up, we'll show you what the Resorts World food has to offer as we take a look at not only the grub, but some of the fine dining and award-winning recipes. In your one-stop, non-stop getaway destination, you can expect a variety of cuisine from Asian, Western, even European dishes. Morning! Welcome to Paris. You're going home right Your first stop is the important meal of the day, breakfast at the Terrace, located adjacent to the six-star Maxim's Hotel lobby, where you can enjoy a buffet spread that will guarantee to satisfy your appetite no matter your age. Or you can check out a hotel favorite at the Cafe Maxim's, serving a variety of meals and desserts throughout the day. This open cafe area is at the entrance of the hotel directly behind the Botero and even includes some evening violinist entertainment. The waitresses, all in character dressed up in unique uniform, will be sure to provide you top-notch service. The list goes into the midday, allowing you to browse the multiple floor levels of other restaurants consolidated in the resort. For lunch, you can enjoy a variety of Chinese dishes at Passion Restaurant, head into the gaming facility to Mercado for some authentic Filipino cuisine, or make your way up to Ginzodon if you have the craving for some sushi. As you gear up for an exciting evening, one thing you can pass up is the fine dining at Impressions. It's one of the top 10 restaurants in the Philippines and an eye-catching one no less. When you first walk up, you will notice a wall of wines. We have a huge, uh, huge uh, wall of, of wine, uh, exactly 2,000 bottles of wine. Uh, just before you enter the restaurant, it's like, and it's like all the sole sale of the, of the, of the, of the restaurant. Uh, wine coming from France, of course, like very well-known Chateau and then Millizemi. And we have also wine also coming from all over the world, you know, with uh, new and old world uh, wine. So we are quite lucky with this. Well, with all the restaurant's executive chef, Sergio Sonen's favorites. The place on himself is a, it's a very nice place already, uh, beautiful things. We have a lot of uh, nice, uh, you know, equipment, like, you know, beautiful uh, uh, glasses and things like that. So it's helped also as well to to, uh, to bring this uh, this uh, this restaurant as a certain uh, standard, and uh, of course the food, yeah, of course we did a I mean we did a very good job in one year. Uh, like I say, it's not yet finished. Now we have to maintain this uh, this uh, perfect score, and then we we, we want to be uh, better and better. Chef has been in the Philippines for the past 13 years and brings his creativity from Paris. Based on what I did before, a lot of experience coming from France with chefs there in France. And then, of course, I'm um, listening to what the people are looking for it, you know, the trend in the, in the food is like a little bit like fashion also as well. So we need to, uh, you know, as a chef, it's like uh, we need to come all the time with some new idea and things like that. So um, you have to listen what, the, what the, really the guests are looking for. The special he made for the group started off with some crab romaine salad, avocados, green beans and apples tossed in truffle mayo dressing. The main entree was braised marinated beef short ribs with tomatoes, homemade herb pasta, and finally wrapped up with mixed berries, tiramisu, and orange crispy tule for dessert. Chef says he looks to alter his menu based off the customer's interests and likes. All the food you can imagine in fine dining, but surprisingly, you eat on the top of a paper table cover. That's to allow customers to be creative and make works of art that eventually end up as the design printed on the restaurant's menu. The chef promises to provide a scrumptious meal filled with classical and modern French dishes that includes simple ingredients. It's more fun in the Philippines. Come to see us. Another eye-catching piece is this glass sculpture that sits at the entrance of the resort's high roller restaurant. It's a $500,000 piece. The restaurant is called Happy Nine and is exclusive for Genting Club members. Aside from dining in, you can also enjoy the sports bar, private gaming entertainment, and a spa. Genting Club master chef David Chu. The guests are they love it like the modern cooking, so we have to fuse that the, the, the Western and the Asian way of the that kind of modern type modern cooking for all the guests. I can do all the Asian, all the international foods, all the Asian type foods, and then plus the Western of course. Chu says he loves spicy food and makes most of the items on the menu from scratch. He served my group roasted combination platter with chicken, duck, and more, double boiled chicken soup, creamy salted egg yolk, king prawn, braised pita bean curd, 
deep fried fish fillet, sauteed vegetables, well fried crispy chicken cutlet, the special happy nine fried rice, and topped it off with some tropical fruit. They just come in, so when they sit down, they sit down and okay, I want fish, and I give it to you that I like spicy, but I just do it my, my own way. Yeah, by steam, some grill, by toasting the bake in the ovens, it's quite, quite nice. It was definitely quite the spread and just the meal needed before heading over to the Resort Newport Mall. The mall also has a variety of food vendors in its food court and the choices seem endless. So when you visit the Resort's World, be sure to also check out the setup at the Marriott where you can get a glimpse at this year's Philippine Culinary Cup Award winning Avengers piece as well as a national showdown piece depicting a scene from the Iron Chef that's 100% made of Belgian chocolate. Now all that food was pretty much amazing, including the chefs themselves, but we had to walk it off. So coming up next, we'll take a look at some of the shopping all here consolidated at Resorts World.